I will never be around black people ever again. Look at that. That's where I lived. He shot him. He shot her and then shot himself. Murder suicide where I was living. Right across from where my apartment was. On the third floor. See? Maple Crest Apartments. Yeah. I lived there for two years. 90% black people in there. It was the worst place I ever lived in my entire life. And um, all because of black people. Look at that. Shootings. Police were always there coming out. That's the building there. Police. Always coming out there. Police. Shoot. Look at that. Five people arrested. Involved in shootings, of course, at my apartment complex where I lived. Made the apartment. And, you know, it's fucking disgusting. And the old, the old place where that they tore down. Same problem. Shootings. All the time there. People shooting and killing each other for no reason. Just dumb fucking black people shooting and killing each other, murdering each other. That's all you see. And that's the old buildings there. Same problem. Injured in a shooting. See, that was the kid that was, they had a kid at the playground too. Derek. Lee Jr., the playground that where I lived, and they, uh, he was, that child was murdered, killed by a black person. All these people are killed by black people. None of them are killed by white people, not one white person. Killed another black person. They were killing each other left and right. Uh, Asheville. Officer leave after fatal shooting. That's the old, old, complex that used to be there they tore it down and built this new complex see this new place maple crest apartment and um, that's where i lived for two years that's all you see black people involved in what shootings killing and murdering each other who wants to live around that nobody so you know white people that don't want black people around. It's because this this is what they do, people. I lived it. They had to get all the mentally ill people out of the building. They had about half a dozen mental, mentally ill patients in there that had mental problems or mental disorders or whatever. They couldn't even live there. They had to get them out and move them into motel rooms. They couldn't even have their own apartment because of black people ruining... <laughs> Ruining their lives, too. I lost about... I mean, I'm still paying off the stuff that I bought. I bought a new dresser. I bought, you know, all kinds of stuff for my apartment. And I put it on a firm so I can make payments on it. I'm still $2,000 in debt because of it. And uh, moving up back out here to the West Coast because of these people. These very hateful, angry black people. Look at that. Killing and murdering each other everywhere. All the time. I couldn't even believe it. I lived there for two years. It, it was the, the worst place I ever lived in my entire life. I've never seen anything like it. So, you know, they want to just, you know. And then YouTube defends them. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't have a right to say what I want to say about it. And that's all they do. Man transported to the hospital after shooting. Yeah. So many people injured. So many people murdered. One murder-suicide. Those two right there. Where I was living. Who wants to live around that? Nobody. Nobody wants to live around these people, black people, because they're always 
bringing in all of the gangs, guns, and violence. That's the way they want to live. That's the way they choose to live, you know. Who wants to, Who wants that in their town? Nobody. <laughs> I can tell you right now, nobody wants that shit. And have to go through all that shit because of black people. Nobody. They're just the most hateful people. And when they hate each other, people start dying. They start killing each other and murdering each other. It's ridiculous. White people didn't have nothing to do with it. None of it. They're all killing and murder, murdering each other and themselves. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. So, that's why I'm back out here on the West Coast. There's a lot less, less of them out here. Mostly Hispanic people and Latinos. Yeah, it's a lot better. No black people. <laughs> well, maybe some down in downtown San Diego. But I ain't going anywhere near there. Because they're the same way down there. Just doing drugs out on the street. Shooting up drugs. I just find uh, drug shit all over the place. Where I was Maple Crest Apartments. Needles. They were shooting up drugs in the elevator. Dealing drugs ever, all over the place, ever, everywhere. Trash in the place. They would, they would, they, they'd trash that place every weekend. Literally, trash the whole damn apartment complex with garbage everywhere. Throwing their trash everywhere. And maintenance guys would have to come up in the morning, come out in the morning, clean up the place. They kept it clean. But if they didn't do it every day, I mean, they would leave bags of garbage just laying outside. They were too lazy to bring their garbage to the dumpster. They'd just, they'd just leave it outside wherever they wanted. I mean, it was ridiculous. They were spray painting the inside of the building. The walls, spray painting the walls. The graffiti and all kinds of stuff inside the building. It's a beautiful, beautiful complex. But the black people ruined it. They ruined it for everybody. Like I say, they had to get the mentally ill patients out of there. They couldn't even live there because it was too much, what, gangs, guns, and violence. So eventually I had to leave. I couldn't even live there any longer. My stupid neighbor complaining about oh, my playing my music in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, I had a really nice apartment. Yep. That's what they look like on the inside. But yeah, I had a really nice apartment. It was nice. I passed my uh, my uh, housing. Um, what do you call it? They come inspect your apartment. My inspection. He said I didn't even need to. I didn't even need to uh, have another inspection for two years. My place was kept so well. But you know, but you can't live next to people that want to do that. You can't live near people that just want to shoot and kill. And They were shooting out the apartment windows, shooting out the, the, the windows to the doors just so they could get into the building. You can't live like that, near people like that. And who would want to? Nobody. Nobody. They're just so bad. Who wants to live near people like that, that act and behave that way? Not me. Nobody should. All right. But, you know, this is what they did. Like, every month it was something. Something going on. With the police coming over and shootings and everything. Shootings, yep. Yeah. At, at that apartment complex. That was the old complex there. Shootings again, <laughs> yellow tape everywhere. Shootings, shootings, another shooting. That's all they do. Just, you know, the dumbest fucking black people you can think of, you can imagine. Just coming there and dealing drugs, shooting people, and murdering each other, killing each other. That's all they do. Destroying, destroying each other's their lives. It's fucking ridiculous. But, you know, you try to tell people the truth. They don't want to, you know, YouTube will 
you know, keep you from commenting or saying anything about it. But, you know, good for those towns that don't want to have black people in them. Because, like I say, they're nothing but trouble. They bring nothing but misery, murder, and trouble. That's all, that's all they do. So, let them do it. I'm not going to live anywhere near them ever again. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> Check out. See you.